Well, one day uh, I was telling stories in Winnipeg, and I was telling stories at the Winnipeg Children's Festival. And when I was finished, uh, they gave me a check for one thousand dollars. And I was standing on the stage when my wife came over and she said, "Can I have your check?" And I said, "Okay." I gave her my check and I said, "What are you going to do with all that money?" She said, "I'm going to buy you a dog." And sure enough, the very next day, this little puppy arrived. It came from a place called Red Deer, Alberta. And when I call, got my little puppy, I called the kennels in Red Deer and I said, what do you call my puppy? They said, oh, we really don't have a name for her. We just call her U2. I said, U2, like the rock band U2. And they said, no, just U2. I said, why do you call her U2? They said, it's because she never listens. And sure enough, I got this little puppy who never listens. Mm -hmm. And one day I was looking at her, trying to figure out what she was doing. And then I got it. You know what she liked to do? Daydream. Her mother used to tell her stories. And what do dogs tell stories about? Other dogs, of course, about dogs from all around the world. And my little puppy would sit there and she would think, when I grow up, I'm going to be a great big St. Bernard. And she was going to go rescue skiers in the Alps, you know, when they got caught in avalanches. And then she thought, oh, maybe not. When I grow up, I'm going to be a golden retriever because she loved to run and splash in the water. And she was going to fetch ducks for duck hunters. And then she thought, oh, maybe not. When I grow up, I'm going to be a great big sled dog. And sure enough, she came to live with me, way up north in Rankin Inlet. And when I got her, I put her on the leash, and we went for a walk. And she pulled and pulled and pulled. She was practicing to be a sled dog. And one day, we took her over to my mother's house, and she was running around. And my mother said, Oh, what a cute puppy. What do you call her? I said, Mom, we really don't have a name for her. We just call her you too. And my mother said, What does that mean? Because my mother didn't speak any English. And I said, Mom, it means Igvidlu. And my mother said, Oh, that's a nice name. Why don't you call her Igvidlu? So then I had a little puppy whose name was Igvidlu. It means you too. <laughs> In the fall, it started to snow. It got colder and colder, and she still had to go outside to pee and Anna. And when she went outside to pee and Anna, she discovered the snow was really cold, and she would lift up her paws one after the other, trying not to keep them on the snow for too long because her paws were getting cold. And one day, she was trying to lift up all her paws when she fell over. And I felt so sorry for my little puppy who had cold feet. So I went out and I bought her little booties. And after that, every time my little puppy wanted to go outside to pee and Anna, she would jump on the couch. She would put up her little paws. I would put her little boots on and, and we would go outside. And one day we went for a walk when she saw them, real sled dogs. They were huge. And they were pulling this huge sled. There was a man sitting on the sled. He was saying, oh, hey, oh, hey, hot, 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 hot. And the lead dog, the biggest dog of them all said, right, right, left, left, carefully now, slowly now. And they pulled and pulled until they came to this long chain on the ground. And when they got her, when they got there, their master took them off their harnesses and tied them up to this long chain. And then he opened up a great big box. And inside the box, there were huge chunks of frozen fish. He picked them up and he threw them at the dogs. And the dogs all started going, rawr, 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 rawr. they were trying to bite each other. They were trying to fight each other. And they were gulping down these huge chunks of frozen fish without hardly chewing on them at all. And my little puppy, 
who wanted so much to be a great big sled dog, she pulled me over to the biggest one of them all, the big gray lead dog. The big dog just looked at her and said, Grawr! You stay away from my food or I'll eat you up. Your little booties and all. And my poor little puppy, she got so scared. She went, yo, 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 all the way home. And behind her, she could hear the big dogs. Eh, eh, eh. They were really mean. And that night, after we had supper, I sat down on the couch. I turned the TV on. And my little puppy jumped up on the back of the couch where she liked to lie and watch TV. And then we started to watch her favorite movie. There was this beautiful girl walking along a yellow brick road. And she sang so beautifully. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue. And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. And right then and there, my little puppy decided, I'm not going to be a sled dog after all. I'm going to be a movie star. <laughs> In that movie has a little puppy that looked exactly like my little puppy. And that story is called The Little Sled Dog. And I wrote it down. 